When people are stressed, they use different ways to deal, like projecting, distorting, or displacing. Freud called these things defense mechanisms. I read that there were eight and wanted to talk about them in more detail and talk about some treatment. This is Drea's Point of View, and I am your hostess, Drea. I would love if you'd follow the show on Twitter at Drea Point and at Drea's Point of View on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Clubhouse. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the episodes that I have for you. We all handle stressful situations differently. If you have a work issue, you may be in denial or even take it out on someone else. What are some defense mechanisms? Denial is one where you don't even acknowledge the issue is happening, like if someone passes away. Being in denial can be helpful in remaining optimistic, but harmful because it can stop a person from dealing with stressful situations. They can help control your emotions, help form your personality, and manage your anxiety. Projecting is when a person blames someone else for a behavior that they themselves are having. This can be harmful because it can stop someone from taking responsibility for their actions. Distortion is when a person believes something to be true when it isn't. It can either convince someone that the situation is worse than what it is to protect a person from the reality of the situation. This happens a lot when one is depressed or has anxiety. It's common with one who has bulimia or body dysmorphia. Another defense mechanism is repression. This is when a person blocks out painful feelings or emotions and is unaware what is happening. Repression could help explain where certain phobias come from. Psychotherapy is usually done to help express these thoughts to help them cope. Displacement is when a person doesn't get angry at the person that hurt them, so they take it out on someone else. An example is when someone gets into an argument with their spouse but goes to work and takes it out on their coworker. Reaction formation is another defense mechanism where people act in a way that is the opposite of how they feel. If a person went through a breakup, they may feel disappointed. If they feel that how they feel is unacceptable, they may act as if, if it doesn't happen. This can be a pattern of ongoing behavior. Disassociation is when you feel disconnected from a stressful event. It's a way to protect the mind from mental stress. Although people use these mechanisms to cope with anxiety, some use them to get out of uncomfortable situations. Repeatedly using these mechanisms can stop a person from dealing with their own emotions. I enjoyed bringing you this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Make sure that you are subscribing and following me and checking out my website, thedreaspointofview.com. This has been Drea's Point of View.